I have a strange but interesting story for you about an Arctic Cat ATV that we picked up from a customer recently. The customer informed us the ATV wouldn't run properly and needed the carburetor cleaned, maybe rebuilt. We transported the ATV back to the shop where it was put in line behind the customers ahead of this one. We had nasty weather and it rained for nearly two weeks straight. When we began work on the ATV, I started to unscrew the gas cap to suck the fuel and any trash out of the gas tank. I was surprised when the gas cap came loose and had the fuel tank neck attached to it. It turns out someone, perhaps the customer or another mechanic, had for some unknown reason cut the neck of the fuel tank off and done it very unevenly. Then they glued it back on with that aerosol expanding foam for filling cracks and gaps around your house. I thought that was strange because I can't imagine any reason to cut the neck off of a fuel tank. But I proceeded with draining the tank, cleaning it, cleaning and rebuilding the carburetor, reassembling it all. The fuel tank didn't have much inside it other than some trash and pieces of dried expanding foam. After reassembling everything, I attempted to start the ATV only to discover the engine was seized. Using an inspection camera to look into the cylinder told the whole story. Water had traveled from the tank through the carburetor where the float was stuck open and straight on into the cylinder. The water sat for an unknown amount of time and rusted the rings so the piston couldn't move. There was also a bit of rust inside the crankcase. The customer wasn't going to pay for an engine rebuild or a new engine. At this point, trying something new couldn't hurt. I drained all of the oil from the engine and then flushed the crankcase with gas to get all the f sludge out. I never attempted to rotate the crankshaft. I installed the drain plugs and filled the crankcase with two gallons of evapo rust. I've heard great things about that, but I've never used it before. I let it sit like that for three days. I drained the evaporust, flushed the engine with gas again, watched a lot of nastiness drain out. I then flushed the crankcase with oil and purged the intake and the cylinder with high pressure air, then brake cleaner, then air, then oil. I installed a new air filter and filled the engine with the proper oil. I used a full synthetic. It not only unseized the engine, but it starts, runs, and amazingly doesn't smoke. Now, I obviously cannot recommend doing this, but if the engine is already trash, you can't make it much worse. I still have no idea why someone would cut the neck off of a fuel tank and the customer opted not to replace the fuel tank, if you can imagine that. This is just a small taste of some of the insanity that mechanics have to deal with on a daily basis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you hung in there to the very end of the video, we really appreciate it.